So I'm just going to transfer that little hive to this Pro Nuke box. I just slit some holes in here. That's where you add a bottle feeder. And the instructions are on the inside lid. And then this closes and then you push it up to open for them to enter and exit and then close it if you're traveling. You don't want them to get out. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna try it for my queen rearing nuke. So I'm gonna go to try it. It's well ventilated, plastic, has these little frames which are removable. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna transfer Warren's life into there for now so I can make up some queens and do some smaller splits into my little um, stealth nuke boxes. Just trying out the Pro Nuke Hive today and also feeding my bees some sugar syrup again, but I've watered it down. I think it might have been too syrupy and I've also added spring water so I used tap water because I'm not sure why they're not drinking it. So I'm just transferring Warren's Life Hive into the Pro Nuke Box. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna give them a little bottle feed. I've opened the door, see how it allows a little space there. And I'm putting it right where the bees were so they can easily find their way home. So it is a little lopsidey, so I'm gonna put the other frame on this side because it is plastic, so it felt like it was gonna tip when I put that frame in. So I'm gonna start on the other side and then work my way into the middle. And then in a couple days, I'm gonna come back and try the grafting again. I 
gonna put the feeding part at the back. I'm also gonna strap it down. water syrup and that's just going to sit there like that. So it has these little grooves where the syrup goes through and you can use a small bottle or a bigger bottle at the front. So there's two options and I've cut little slits with a knife and then the entrance pops open like that and then it also can lock down. So there is an entrance on the back as well that I'll show you. So there's the back and it's closed, um, but it's open for ventilation, which is nice. And we're gonna hope for the best. I just put a little brick on there to hold the bottle up because it's kind of crinkly and smushed. And it's strapped down. Not that it's gonna do much because it's plastic, but we'll see. And then I just left the old Warren's Life Hive out here. But everyone seems to be pretty busy carrying on with their lives. So that's good. They're slowly becoming adaptive here. It's a busy day in the bee yard, but all is well. We'll see if they take to the sugar I've left for them. tried this grafting frame and it's not working they're just building comb and can I tell you why it's not working there's a queen in there what the hell couldn't find her it's the smallest colony couldn't find her last time that's why I thought perfect queenless they'll take to this grafting that's why they didn't take to the grafting what the frig <sighs> I didn't record anything in my casual wear. Anyway, this will be a good little nuke to give to my brother then. And then I'm going to have to pick another hive to try the grafting in, I guess. Um, it won't be like a mini nuke, but you know, that's all I can do right now is make mistakes. <laughs> Anyway, take care everyone. I replaced the empty frame, the, um, not the empty frame, but the grafting frame with an empty frame. So there we go. It's almost bikini time because these bees are so docile. I just had one stuck in my hair, pulled it out, flew away. So I need to record more often. Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees
fuzzy antlers.